Hello, and welcome to Paper Play with Julie Kay. Welcome everyone, and thank you so much for stopping by. Today I'm doing a video on saying goodbye to my craft room. And I wanted to kind of do a little video or another walkthrough of how I have my craft room set up before I start dismantling it. I am, however, gonna be saying hello to a new craft room. I've been fortunate enough that my husband and I were able to to build a new building on our property and it's gonna house a bigger craft room and also a space for him for some of his hobbies. He he does wildlife photography and we kind of wanted to set up a little gallery to put some of his images on the walls and then also he collects petrified wood and some rocks and stuff like that. So we wanted a bigger space to be able to, to showcase some of those items. And so, um, this upcoming new year I'm going to be dismantling this craft room and moving stuff up to my new space and I'll try and show a little video of that at the end of this of my new space I've already moved a few things that I had purchased off of um, Facebook marketplace and thrift stores and a couple of things my dad found for free at rummage sales that I'm gonna have to redo but um, some dressers and things like that but for the price you I couldn't go wrong you know with a fresh coat of paint and some new knobs and those kind of things I should be able to fix some of the things up and so I'm going to back up just a little bit more and just kind of show you my space it is in the basement and you can see I kind of come down from the stairs up here if we were to go out this way um, we go outside but here's kind of my space right now and I do apologize I am hand holding the camera I'm going to do my best not to make you too dizzy and so I'm going to walk into my craft space here and then we're going to look at the area on the left once we get in. And I also want to let you guys know I did not clean my craft room today so it isn't 100%. It's kind of knowing that I was going to dismantle it. I didn't want to spend the time to clean it. So again you can kind of see the door going outside and you can see this little shelf unit and I store a lot of my paper in here in the little um, canvas totes on here there is like the store-bought ephemera from like Bow Bunny and Graphic 45 I have some of my yarn in a couple of these totes that are on here the cloth totes but the rest of it's all paper on top of it I do have some projects I've made projects that other people have given me just for inspiration up on that shelf and then right here, um, I do have this really fun dresser that I found off of Facebook Marketplace. I fell in love with it. You know, I had been looking at Facebook Marketplace for something else and I came across this and I fell in love with it. Unfortunately, it was like, you know, two and a half hour drive to go pick it up. But my husband said, you know, let's go pick it up and just make a day of it. So we drove and had lunch and stuff like that. And the lady that owned it, was downsizing and so she was giving it away for pretty cheap I don't think I could have even bought a nice dresser and painted it and added the transfer on it to be able to to make it for the price that I got it so it was one of those pieces I was really excited about getting and I store some of my laces and trims and for those of you that are interested I do have another video um, an older video on my channel of a, a little bit more of a thorough tour of my craft room and this wasn't in it, so this is kind of new for me. But I will link that video below in the description box if you guys are ch interested in checking that out. I do have two videos on that. Um, up on top, I have some different tiered trays. In one of them, I store my snippets. And the other one's just kind of some miscellaneous containers of some different things. I'm not going to go into details. Um, again, this is just me saying goodbye and maybe making a little video. So I kind of remembered how I had certain things laid out in here. Um, this also is a newer item for me in my craft space. It's a paper rack that an old neighbor of mine where I grew up, he's very handy and he likes to create things. Um, for a long time he's only lived off of Social Security and his Social Security check isn't that great. And so he makes a lot of things on the side and a lot of things for me that he's made in our house, like he's made, he's decorated some of our mirrors. He's made a lot of things for my parents in their house. And so this is one of those items that I asked him to create for me. Up at the very top of it, I did find one of those um, stamp and storage brand ones right here, this paper rack right here. And so I had showed it to Bill, his name is Bill. 
and I showed it to him asking him if he could build me a taller one that might be on wheels and so he did do that for me so this one does have wheels on it so I can move it around and so I do love it and then next to it I have kind of this little glass cabinet that I repainted and redid um, I have another one in in another spot here in my craft room but I store my laces or my trims or ribbons on, that are on the spools in that one and then underneath it I have this black cabinet that needs another coat of spray paint on it it's kind of seen better days but I pretty much have had that piece of my craft room um, ever since I started having a craft room it's like a little mail sorter thing that came from an office and it fits eight and a half by eleven pieces of paper in that one and I sorry about the shadow I have all the lights I possibly can on in my room it's really dark and so when I flip over here it's gonna be really dark so I do apologize in this back corner but I do have another um, little shelf that I found at the thrift store that I painted black that holds a lot of you know some vintage books that I use in my junk journals and some jars with embellishments and some twine um, and then behind there I do have another paper rack this one came from a scrapbooking store on top of it I do have a lazy Susan a double tiered one that has you know different jars with embellishments in it and then down in this corner here is where I have some of my rolling carts there's also another little dresser back there behind the paper rack that you can't see that I painted and I'll show you the mate to it in a minute um, but in there I just store some of the off-season unmounted stamps that I have. Down in this corner I have a cabinet that you really can't see but it's like an old like wash um, basin cabinet that belonged to my grandpa. And there's also another little paper rack on there. I was fortunate enough you know several years ago to be able to build um, some built-in shelves up here and so I am going to miss those in my new craft space because I won't have that. Um, it just wasn't in the budget for it right now but maybe down the road. And then here you can see I have a few more of these little black um, little square boxes. These, these are part of that other system that I showed you at the very beginning but they just fit up on top of this cabinet so I put them up there and I have some washi tape and you know one of these I store napkins in. I also have some random things sitting up on top and then this little cabinet and I can't really get a good view of it but you'll maybe be able to see it better when I move it into my new craft space. This cabinet was again built by my old neighbor Bill and so I had these rolling plastic carts that held these little totes in them and I loved them but the little plastic parts were starting to fall apart the rolling part and so I gave these again to Bill and I asked him if he could possibly build me some sort of cabinet to put these in because I do like to to put different projects in these little totes and I have like some scrapbooking stuff in some of them I house some of my stencils you know it kind of changes just based on my needs and then underneath it I just store some random totes with some other stuff in it and so down here I have a little three drawer dresser and I have another mate to it and that one's behind that tall paper rack. And this one I redid with, I painted it with chalk paint and <clears throat> and also a rub, a Prima rub on on that one. And the little cabinet dresser cabinet belonged to my grandma a long time ago. It used to be kind of a green color. You know, an item that I made, a cute little embellishment box that I took out. It's a Christmas themed one that I got from my friend handmade by Deanna Marie here on YouTube that we had done a swap on it and so I'd taken that out hoping to get some Christmas crafts done but unfortunately that didn't happen this year. We've gotten too much snow so I've been busy shoveling. So another one of those little cabinets um, similar to the one that I hold the ribbon in but this one is lace and the, these cabinets the glass doors move like to the right to open them. And these, this cabinet and the other one I did get from a pastor that we had growing up that our family was really close to. These belonged to his wife and they were moving um, out of state and so she had these, these two um, cupboards 
and she housed, I think their family had like a teacup collection in them and they had just been sitting in storage since they lived there. They'd never really used them, but she was getting rid of them. And so I, we did take them because I wanted to redo them and I love how I use them in my craft room. And so those two, I also, I painted those black and then I kind of distressed them back to the, the previous color on them and I added, you know, you can see behind there, I added some scrapbooking paper and on some of them you can see I do have words on them right here, some some vinyl lettering, but they don't really show up onto on the camera, but they say imagine, believe, and dream. Underneath here I have an old bookshelf that I repainted a long time ago. So now I'm going to go around this corner right here. And I do know it might get kind of loud over here. Our furnace is on. And so um, there's not much I can do about that. It's really loud right now because I'm close to the furnace room. But again, you can see kind of where we walked in right there. And so I had this little unit here of drawers. And this is where I house all of my mounted stamps. And this unit, my dad and one of his friends built for me. I've had these these for a long time in my st in my collection. I also have a similar one that's gray, but it's in a closet in another room because I ran out of room in here um, that I had picked up. Or my dad had picked up, I think, at Habitat for Humanity. But they, that previous owner, I think, used it for maps or architecture stuff or something like that. But I had two of them, and I did sell one of them. But I do have one more that's very similar to this that's already painted gray and on top of here i just kind of house like my cutting machine and that kind of stuff and on the backs of these shelves which you don't see because i've already taken most of them down but there are magnets and so i did put some of my frequently used dies on those magnets um, but most of them i've taken down now i'm just getting ready to move and so again um, built-in shelves but up here i store my die cuts just miscellaneous stuff in the different totes. I'm not going to go into all of them. And then underneath this, I did have a desk. And this did house my sewing machine, but my sewing machine right now is up in my husband's office. So it's just kind of a catch-all for right now. So, um, And then kind of moving along here, this door right here, I use like over-the-door shoe holders and I stored my punches. And I have some on the other side of the door and inside of that door is our furnace room and our laundry room. And so I do have a question for you guys if curious how you guys store your punches because this system it's worked very well for me up until now but in my new space I'm not going to be able to do this so um, I'm looking kind of for another method of storing my paper punches so if any of you guys have some great ideas or if you've done craft room tours and you do your paper punches differently if you want to leave the comments below just so i can check those out i'm just looking for some other ideas on how to store my paper punches you know i'm not sure right now if they'll end up in a, a box or a drawer or something right now is most looking like what i'm going to end up having to do so i'm going to back up again slowly and so this was a built-in unit already in our house when we moved in in our cabin. And I believe that they used it kind of as a wine bar or a bar area. And so I house like some of my materials, some of my beading stuff. I have off-season stuff up here. I have some of my paints and glues down below. I was fortunate enough that there is a sink there. Sorry about the dog. It's I'm actually house-sitting not house sitting but we're taking care of my sister's dog and so I presume my husband's coming in and so that's why the dog's barking upstairs if you guys can hear it I'm not sure um I have one of those fun little sewing machine drawers that I picked up off a marketplace um this is an old nuts and bolts cabinet that my dad found for me and again down here I have some more punches in side of these bottom drawers I have extra glue and some of my paints in there and this shelf I'm painting so now it's sitting up on top of some paint cans but I'm painting that for my new craft space so um, so sorry about that but it's still kind of wet paint and I didn't want to move it for the video 
And then you guys can see here, and I'm really sorry about that light, but here is my current desk or my workspace. And I have, you know, some different holders for um, my stamp pads and my markers and some different things. And a couple of my items that I normally have sitting here or upstairs on the other desk that I've been using up in my husband's space. So I just wanted again to do a quick little tour of my current craft room. And again, I do have some built-in shelves up here that I store random craft supplies in. So that's kind of the whole tour. And you can kind of see again back where we started again. So that's a quick little tour of my current craft space. And um, I'll include a little bit of my new craft space here at the end of this. So I'm about to give you a sneak peek of my current or my new craft room. It's still very much a work in progress. I've been carrying up totes and unpacking them. And as I'm walking in the door, um, you can see this area right here where all the totes are sitting. It's kind of a staging area for right now for where I unpack the totes and move stuff in. Um, the window to the right, I am gonna be putting my office desk underneath here. So this area is gonna be kind of my little office area, work area, and then I'm also going to be putting a rug where the blue tarp is and adding um, a couple of chairs or a couch when I find one. Most of the furniture that you see in here is furniture that I have um, thrifted or found off a marketplace or gotten for free. A couple of things, once I told people I was looking for a few pieces for my new craft area, um, some people just gave me pieces that they were getting rid of. And so that was really nice. The kind of little bit bigger dresser back there was one that my dad actually found for me. He was ru at rummage sales this summer with my mom and someone was giving it away free. Um, we did have to fix one drawer in it and put a bottom in it. And we, he spent, um, I think $11 total on pieces of wood to, to work on that dresser. Um, it, Cause he decided to replace the bottoms in all three of the drawers, but, and I have knobs for it, but I just have to put it on. And a couple of the, tr there's a trunk off to the right and another little dresser that's, I haven't put the other um, drawer in it yet. Um, that one was also free. And my tote, you can see this other big black thing that I have tipped over kind of in the middle of my floor is what I'm working on right now. It's like a pegboard. It's like a four-sided pegboard thing. And my husband was gonna use it over on his side of the building, but he decided that he didn't want it. And so I said I would take it because I can hang stuff, craft stuff off of it. But I have it tipped over right now because I am gonna put some wheels on the bottom of it just to make it easier to move around in my craft space. And I'm also thinking, I had originally um, spray painted it black for him because that's what he wanted. But um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna repaint it a different color or I might just stencil over it just to give it a little extra color or flair to it. Um, back here in the corner, I just have another little table with a couple of sewing drawers on it. In front of this window right here, I would like to put my sewing machine desk and you can see this large buffet type um, item. I did get that off a of marketplace. I did end up painting that myself. That was kind of my project this summer that I worked on. It was a bright yellow, but it was fairly cheap. And what was nice about it was that it was only like 10 miles away where they were selling it. So we didn't have to drive very, very far to pick it up. So it was worth putting in the extra money to sand it down and repaint it a color that I wanted. And so I do like how that turned out. And then I'm just gonna pan a little bit here. So there's still some spots missing back here. I have some other furniture for my current craft room that's going in between some of these things. And the area behind this buffet, I'm gonna be putting my, my other desk that I use right there. I was debating where I wanted my desk and I decided, like I said, the sewing machine, I decided I wanted the natural light for that one. So that's the reason um, why I'm doing my crafty space back there. And like I said, um, the little bookshelf I picked up really cheap at an antique store, the dresser um, next to it on the left, 
That one I picked up at a kind of a store where she sells repurposed stuff and she was going out of business. The blue one on the top also came from an antique store. Um, the little teacup holder again on the top of this bookshelf. That one I found at the thrift store and I painted it quite a while ago. I was trying out different colors, trying to decide what color I wanted in here. So that one almost blends in with the, the wall. And this nice French provincial dresser, my husband surprised me and he bought that for me. And along with that, it came with that little small side table um, or bedside table dresser. So um, that was kind of a two piece thing. I do have another um, dresser that I'm putting in there that was in my craft room. And then I have kind of a lawyer's bookcase back there in the corner and that I also was fortunate enough and got that for free. Um, one of my parents' neighbors were um, cleaning out one of their parents' ho houses and they had that in a curio that they were just getting rid of that they didn't want. And so, of course, I said I would take it. And this kind of industrial shelving right here, that came from our garage, from our condo. And I kept it thinking that it would be a nice... Um, starter shelf to use and I've so far I'm really liking having it in here because I can just throw everything on there now while I'm taking things out of the totes until I'm ready for it on the shelves for organizing and there's a couple of things on there also that are for my husband's space but right now it's just a nice kind of landing spot for a few things to get them up off the floor. And then this other little dresser here that you see with the flowers on it. I worked, that was another project that I worked on this past summer. It just um, decoupage paper on it. And then I have a little shelf that I put on top of it. I'm not sure if that's staying there or if it's going to be hung on the wall. A lot of the shelves that are sitting on top of my dressers might end up actually on the wall. But for now, I'm just setting them on top of the dressers, just trying to get a feel for my space before I hang anything on the wall. So there's that little French provincial side table or dresser um, that my husband picked up for me. And then here's kind of a fun little kind of shabby chic looking item. It's a plant stand, I believe, and I thought that would be fun to put some craft supplies on it. So here's another little bookshelf, and I'm not sure if this one's going to stay where it's at or if it's going to move, but for right now I just put it there just to house a couple of things while I'm unpacking. Um, again, I'm not quite sure where everything's going to go 100%. Um, the little white cabinet on top is another summer project that I had created. Um, originally, when I was going to do this craft room, I was thinking I was going to go with black and white and gray because that was a lot of what I already had. But then um, when my husband surprised me with a couple of pieces, um, like the French provincial one, and then I had found that other one at a store, a repurposed store that was going out of business, I decided that that was kind of more of the style that I wanted to work myself into. And so um, there are a lot of black things just because that's the route I was going to go for. But um, for now, I like it. I Like I said, I respray painted it and I stamped the one, two, three on the drawers. It's, I've actually used that in my craft room this past year. It's kind of a fun little container. And just like I said, some other random things that are just sitting there for now until I figure out which stamp supplies I want to put them into them. And um, here's this other corner. I'm going to back up a little bit. So, um, and in this sector, that rug's going to get moved. It's just sitting there for right now, um, just because I had purchased them and I was unrolling them, trying to flatten them out a bit. Um, but this area, I'm going to put my rubber stamps and my paper and stuff. So um, I haven't really moved much in for this sector. And then there's the door where we came back, where we came in. So that's the front door. And then right here, um, the little door right there is, there's a bathroom right in there. So um, fortunate enough to have a bathroom connected with water. So again, there's one overall sneak peek of my new craft space. Again, it's kind of a work in progress, but I did want to give you a sneak peek and to kind of explain why I might not be posting a lot of videos for a while because I will be organizing and moving stuff up into my new space. 
So I do hope everyone is doing well and I wanna thank everybody so much for watching today. And until next time, have a wonderful week and happy crafting.